Kaylee Talent was born on December 17, 2003, and lived in San Tran Valley, Arizona. Kaylee played softball, dance, volleyball, and cheer, and she loved to paint. Kaylee was working to graduate high school early to pursue her dream of studying law at Penn State. She opened her first social media account when she was 10 from an iPad. Her mother, Misty, discovered the account and told her to close it. As a nurse, Misty often worked long hours, so she got Kaylee her first cell phone at 13. Misty believed that Kaylee started using Snapchat at about that time, though she didn't discover her use until about a year later. Snapchat began connecting Kaylee to drug dealers through its quick ad feature. And fast forward to April 11, 2021, at the age of 17, Kaylee and her family ate dinner together like they often did. At about 8.45 p.m., Kaylee took her computer and said she needed to start her homework. She kissed her mom goodnight and headed upstairs to her bedroom. The next morning, Kaylee didn't wake up at her normal time, so her mom knocked on her door around 11 a.m. When there was no answer, she tried to get in and found the door to be locked. After forcing her way into the room, Kaylee's mom found her lying on the bed and knew immediately that Kaylee was gone. Kaylee had died of fentanyl poisoning from a counterfeit pill she had purchased on Snapchat. As soon as Misty found out about Snapchat's role in her daughter's death, she used the Snapchat app to send Snap a written communication to inform them that her child had died and that there was a criminal investigation to find the Snapchat dealer and she needed access to her child's Snap log. But Snapchat ignored her plea entirely. After Kaylee's death, the drug dealer that sold her the fentanyl lace pill posted a public Snap story saying he needs to, quote, lay low for a while because some girl died. He was back to selling drugs a week later. More than a year after Kaylee's death, her mom was approached by another parent whose daughter had died of fentanyl poisoning after being connected to the same Snapchat dealer who sold to Kaylee. Parents, Snapchat is recommending our children to drug dealers on their platform. And even if the drug dealer's account gets reported, it's very rarely removed. Even when there's been a death, like in Kaylee's case, this is the first of dozens of stories I'm going to share with you. We cannot ignore what is happening here. It's scary, yes, but we should feel scared. Until Snapchat is required to regulate its platform and make it safe by design, I urge you to keep your children off of Snapchat and tell them why. Explain to them that unregulated social media platforms allow for crimes against children. It's our duty to protect them and we have to take it seriously. Kids are literally dying. Join me in sending love and strength to the family of Kaylee Talent.